This is actually smallpox, and the reason you and I haven't seen it before is because it was eradicated from the globe in the 1980s thanks to vaccines. Now, before it was eradicated from the globe, it is estimated to have claimed the lives of over 300 million people. Now, vaccines have been a hot topic lately, but I think it's important for us to understand where exactly they came from. So here we are in the 1790s, where the life expectancy is about 35 to 40 years old. And smallpox? Well, it is killing many people. Now, an English physician had started to notice that people that had cowpox, well, they didn't get smallpox. So he tests this theory. He takes part of the sore from a milkmaid's hand that's infected with cowpox, and he injects that into an eight-year-old boy. Crazy, I know. The young boy has a local reaction and doesn't feel good for a couple days, but then fully recovers. And then two months later, they do another crazy thing, and they bring this young boy back, and this time they inject him with part of a smallpox sore from another human. Well, guess what? He never get sick from the smallpox. And this is the first person in history that we know to be vaccinated against the smallpox. Now, word of the smallpox vaccine starts to get out and it's endorsed actually by these two guys, Thomas Jefferson and Napoleon Bonaparte. Word of the vaccine spreads, guess what else goes up? Life expectancy. And here is where we start to see the science behind vaccines and the number of vaccines created skyrocket. We see vaccines against influenza, measles, mumps, rubella, all created throughout the 1900s. Now, I think it's important for us to know that vaccines just didn't pop up overnight. There have been over 200 years of research and science going on to create the vaccines that we have today. And thanks to these, I haven't seen most of these diseases in children that I treat. For more health and wellness information, be sure to click that follow button. We'll see you next time with Raising Wisconsin.